Welcome back. New artwork in Miami, Oklahoma captures the city's unique tie to British World War II history. New at 6, Two Works for You reporter Joe Hinkey gives us a look at a recently unveiled mural. In Miami, Oklahoma, you can find these 15 headstones. Each one is a grave for a man who gave his life fighting for his country. And even though not a single one of these men is American, Miami is still trying to make sure that none of their stories are ever forgotten. A British flag flying over Miami cemetery might seem odd, but it makes sense once you learn of the city's history with the Royal Air Force. John Weigel remembers as a 10-year-old spotting America's ally above his home. And they would take off and come over our place and, you yeah. know, circle around. In the 1940s, the Brits invaded Miami's headlines, which read, the British are coming. They were coming over here to fly because they, they, they couldn't over there with the Germans chasing them. Today, this is Miami's regional airport where Old Glory flies, but from 1941 to 45, it became a British cadet training school. While 15 pilots, some as young as 20 years old, died in training accidents and are now buried in Miami Cemetery, more than 1,300 Brits would earn their wings here. I'm excited about it because I love local history. Um, I think the history of the flight school here during World War II was really interesting. In the lobby of the airport, you can find a painting from one of the war pilots trained here. Recently, artist Jessica Stout used it as a model when the city asked her to paint a mural in honor of the British flyers. She spent more than a week painting every detail, which she worked to get just right. Even while I was painting, a pilot who was coming through here told me I had something wrong on the plane. He said the rudder wasn't quite right, you know, so we looked it up online and I corrected that. So that was kind of fun and, you know, I appreciated the input there. Now, Miami's history is on display. You just have to look up when at the airport. I was really excited that I was asked to be a part of this historic event, really, and to help um, beautify this great little airport we have here in our community. Reporting in Miami, Joe Henke, Two Works for You.